brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. What we're saying as a board and the resolution is fix it. We are tired of the delays. It's affecting a community of students and families, and we want it resolved for the safety of those students and the current facility is not deemed safe by our standards. Guam Education Board Member Robert Chrysostomo reiterated the board's concerns after news that the procurement to rebuild the dilapidated Jigo campus has been stalled once again. The delay stems from another protest filed by prospective bidder Cortec International. I think it's high time now that we as a board take a position on it and say we need to move forward. I mean, how many walkthroughs are we going to do up at Simon Sanchez High School to come back with the same, to the same conclusion that it needs to be fixed? Board member Mark Mendiola argues that given the years-long procurement effort riddled with continued protests, the board should ask the attorney general to step in. The only way I feel that can be resolved is if the chief legal officer of the government of Guam steps up and says, you know what, we have to intervene on behalf of the people of Guam. Meanwhile, Superintendent John Fernandez says the department is willing to do whatever it takes to push the procurement forward, even in the event the procurement is forced to go back to square one. I am letting the board know that I'm willing and, you know, to either work with Nita to have Nita play a stronger role, or work as a, as, even if DOE was to play a stronger role. The board approved the drafting of a resolution which will then be forwarded to the AG's office. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.